Vegas family, I'm your host Armin, and welcome back to Amoy For today's episode, i-review ko sa inyo ang local brand house. So, he is our also a good member dito sa fragrance community dito sa Pilipinas. His name is Bong Alcaide and the name of his brand is Minimalist Scent. I'll put the logo here, okay? And also put yung in the description down below yung Shopee account niya, okay? So, if you're really fan of a local perfume house, and you can check it out. And let's support mga local brand houses, especially dito sa Filipinas. Okay? And actually, yung etong mga scent na to, these are 11 fragrances na pinadala sa akin ni Mr. Bong Alcaide. Okay? So these are 11 inspired fragrances from the designer line and of course from the niche line. Very affordable siya with a good price. Actually, dumarating siya sa two sizes. These are 30 ml. Yung 30 ml niya, 350 pesos. And for the 50 ml, we have 550 pesos. Super affordable. Okay, guys? Marami salamat talaga sa'yo, Mr. Bong Alcaide, na pinadala niya tong samples na to. Kasi I, I told him, Bro, uh, actually, i-review ko yung fragrances mo. Baka meron ka dyang pang thumbnail. I need it for my thumbnail sa YouTube channel ko. Sabi niya, Oh, Wait, wait, wait lang bro. Papadala ko lahat ng mga samples sa iyo bro. Sabi ko, really bro, I really appreciate it. So, pinadala niya sa akin. Uh, I'm very thankful naman. And yeah, these are 2 ml samples na pinadala, siya sa, pinadala niya sa akin. These are 11 fragrances. And let's start with the first fragrance. The first fragrance we have, the name of the scent is Question Mark. Yeah. So, this is inspired by YSLY. EDT. So, kuha-kuha naman niya, initial spray pa lang, makukuha mo yung green apple note. And of course, you will get those mga fresh citruses. Medyo aquatic siya. And also, at the same time, you get those aldehyde notes. Which is also, makukuha mo din dun sa YSL YEDT. It's very dominant note dun yung green apple and aldehyde notes. Okay? Kuha-kuha niya dito sa scent na to. And medyo, medyo very nice siya. It's a different take. Although, okay naman siya. Okay? Hindi ko siya masyado nagustuhan. Pero for those mga aquatic fans out there, for those mga YSLY EDT fans out there, uh, if hindi nyo naman kaya, kaya bumili ng YSL EDT kasi it's very expensive. Okay? Now, it's also hard to find. I think you should try this scent. Okay? Let's go now for the second scent. Yeah. Sobrang dami guys, sobrang dami. So please bear with me, okay? And the second scent, we have Island of the Blessed. So this is inspired by Elysium Roja, okay? For those mga Elysium, mga addict dyan sa Elysium, from the Roja, Roja fragrances. This, it's a very, very expensive niche house. Uh, it's a different take on Elysium. Medyo, you get those, ano, uh, refreshing citruses vibe niya, okay? And there is a metallic note in here, okay? Doon sa Roja Elysium, hindi mo masyado makukuha yung metallic note, eh. Dito, pero dito sa ginawa ni Bong, it's kind of different. It's kind of unique take on Roja Elysium. So, if you love refreshing citruses ng, ng Roja, na makukuha mo rin dito konti, and you you love metallic note, okay? Metallic note touch with the scent doon sa Roja, I think this might be for you, okay? It's very refreshing and very, very summery vibe siya. Okay? Very summery vibe. Okay? Very nice scent siya. Pero hindi ko siya masyado nagustuhan. May mga nagustuhan ako dito, sasabihin ko sa inyo. Okay? Let's go now for the third fragrance. Okay? For the third fragrance, this is Unrestrained Passion. Ayan. Unrestrained Passion. Itong Unrestrained Passion, ah, ano kaya itong scent ito? This is inspired of Versace Eros EDT. Grabe, guys. <laughs> Grabe. Ito yung ito yung classic scent na it reminds me back 2012 or 2013. Those days na mga college days na when I when I go when I was studying, when I was going like uh 
I was a party guy kasi when I was going in a clubbing, nagpa-party ako everyday, I study hard as well. Ito yung klaseng scent na talagang mababaliw yung mga babae. Okay? Grabe tong scent na to. Ito yung truly, truly... Okay, ayaw ko na sabihin. Alam nyo na yun kung ano yun, okay? You get those, ano, you get those a mint, you get those green apple, and you get that vanilla note here, okay? It's very dominant, very dominant, dominant yung vanilla note niya dito, and also mint, and also the green apple note, okay? So, very refreshing siya. It, ito, ito yung nakakagulat sa kanya. If, if hindi ka na makahanap ng 2012 batch, 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016 batch ng Versace Eros EDT, I think, dito ka na lang, sa unrestrained passion from the house of minimalist scent. It lasted me, itong projection nito, grabe yung projection nito, ah, nakaka-believe siya talaga. It lasted, it projects first to 2 to 3 hours, okay? 2 to 3 hours. Then longevity niya, it lasted 8 hours. Max, after nun, it becomes a skin scent and the sludge of this is really, really good. Okay? Ito yung klaseng scent na if you wanna party, if you wanna go out, you wanna go date, this might be for you. Baka, baka ito na yun. Ito na yun. Baka dito ka na, dito ka na magsha-shine. Dito na, dito, itong scent na to na it, it will give you the confidence. Okay? So let's go now for the fourth fragrance. For the fourth fragrance, we have, the name of the fragrance is Into the... Woods. Ayan. So, itong Into the Woods. Woof! Itong Into the Woods. This is inspired by Layton Exclusive from the House of Parfums, The Marley. Okay? Itong uh, Into the Woods, hindi naman siya ganun kuha ng Layton Exclusive. For me, sa nose ko, ah, for, sa nose ko, don't judge me, for, sa nose ko, eh, mas malapit siya sa Layton. Okay? So, if hindi mo kaya masyado, hindi mo hindi kaya ng budget mo yung Layton, dito ka na lang sa Into the Woods. Okay? So, this one has almond note, mandarin orange, bergamot, and of course, other notes as well. Actually, yung main accord niya, you get those almondy note, you get those uh, very, very citrusy bergamot note, and of course, the mandarin orange, which is also makukuha mo din dun sa Layton, okay? Very dominant siya and very, very gourmand. Super sexy, super alluring. Whew, sobrang thick. Very thick composition yung ginawa talaga ni Bong dito. And yeah, if you wanna party at night, if you wanna go on a date occasion, okay? If you wanna go date, you wanna go night out, okay? This might be for you. Into the woods okay which is inspired by Layton exclusive pero on my nose it is Layton okay from the house of perfumes the Marley let's go now for the fifth scent guys for the fifth scent we have red dress and red dress I took red dress to toy this is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 yeah it's very talagang Baccarat Rouge naman siya pero in a in a affordable price okay so if you are really love Medyo, syempre, yung crystalline note ng Baccarat Rouge, Baccarat Rouge 514 ng From the House of Mason Francis Kurjan. Okay? If hindi mo kaya yun, if, uh, if naghahanap ka ng affordable price, which talagang you wanna get that kind of scent, you wanna get, you wanna get that kind of vibe, dito ka sa red dress. Okay? It's kinda, for me, it's kinda leaning into a feminine scent. Pero I think for those uh, people out there, they, they rock this. Uh, it's leaning in, for them into unisex scent, okay? So, you get those uh, mga spicy accord, very, very, ano, very aromatic din siya. Yung uh, nakasulat dun sa sa notes ni Bong Alcaide na animalic, for me, eh, hindi siya ganun ka-animalic, okay? Very alluring siya. Very attractive scent din as well, okay? So, if you're looking for Baccarat Rouge 540, this might be for you. Red dress. Okay, let's go now for the sixth fragrance. The sixth fragrance that we have, this is Polo Shirt White. Polo Shirt White, okay? Ito Polo Shirt White, this is inspired by Lacoste White, okay? Ito yung, ito yung, ito yung pangalawang scent na nagustuhan ko dito, okay? Which, I'm really also fan of Lacoste, especially yung Lacoste White. 
Grabe to guys, grabe. You get that citrusy note, you get that also combination of white florals. Yung white florals niya, hindi siya ganun, uh, baka sabihin nyo, white florals, baka feminine yan. No, hindi siya feminine. It's very, very unique way yung white floral niya. It gives a neat and clean type of a scent. Okay? It's very affordable. It's good for office. It's good for those kind uh, th those kind of uh, occasions na you wanna go in an office, you wanna go in a business meeting, you just wanna parang hang out lang with your friends, parang you just wanna have a coffee in a coffee shop. Ito yung classic scent na uh, it doesn't it doesn't ano it doesn't offend for those uh, for those people out there. Okay, very mass pleasing, very nice scent, very clean. Okay, that is Paula shirt from the house of minimalist scent. Let's go now for the seventh fragrance. For the seventh fragrance, we have Get Up and Smoke. Okay? So, Get Up and Smoke, ito yung inspired by Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Okay? Grabe tong scent to, guys. Woo! It's very powdery. You get that powdery notes. You get the tobacco leaf. Yung tobacco leaf niya dito, angat na angat yung tobacco leaf niya. It's very clean tobacco leaf. Hindi siya ganun sobrang smoky. Katulad ng mga newer versions ng to to uh, tobacco vanilla ngayon. It's leaning into, medyo manipis na siya eh. Hindi na siya ganun okay. Katulad dati, yung mga old formulation ng tobacco vanilla. Whew! Grabe yung mga old formulation ng tobacco vanilla. So, if you're looking for tobacco vanilla, at let's say mga ibang other inspired fragrances dyan na medyo mahal din sila, hindi nyo kaya, I think this might be for you. Okay? And you get that vanilla, you get that cacao, you get that tobacco leaf. Angat-angat yung tobacco leaf niya dito in a smooth way, not offensive way. And yung cacao din niya, it's very smooth lang siya. Hindi siya ganun sobrang malakas na cacao note. Okay? And you get that also, that powdery note. So, parang, parang baby powder. Okay? Baby powder. It's very unique way. And this is from the house of Minimalist Scent. This is Get Up and Smoke. Let's go now for the next fragrance. The next fragrance is Pineapple and Other Elements. Okay? Ito, Pineapple and Other Elements, this is inspired by Creed. Aventus, okay? Creed Aventus na naman, okay? So, for those people addict sa mga Creed Aventus, hindi, hindi, hindi nyo pa kaya yung Creed Aventus or hindi nyo pa kaya yung mga ibang mga inspired fragrances like let's say Afnan na Supremacy Not Only Intense or yung another flanker niya Supremacy, Pineapple Vintage, and other fragrances or let's say Sidinim, Sidinim from the House of Armaf, and so on, okay? If hindi nyo kaya yun, I think this might be for you. So yung pineapple note niya, angat na angat dito yung pineapple note niya, you get those little bit smoky touch of uh, the birch note, okay? It's very good scent. Kinda pwede na, pwede pwede na. And yeah, very affordable siya and very nice performing scent, okay? That is pineapple and other elements. Let's go now for the next fragrance, okay? The next fragrance is Mysteriously Naughty, okay? Ito yung favorite ko, guys. Another favorite from this house. This is Mysteriously Naughty. Makikita nyo, it's a blue juice, okay? It's a blue juice. Grabe, guys. Sobrang lakas nito. Malakas to, ah. Sa mga scents na ng mga naamoy ko so far until now, ito yung malakas, Okay? Ne the first one is yung Versace Eros, malakas siya. The next one is this one, okay? This is Mysterious and Nati. This is inspired by Black Phantom from the house of Kilian, okay? Sobrang mahal na mga Kilian. Hindi kaya ng mga tao. Even ako, hindi ko masyado kaya yung Kilian kasi I'm not a fan of Kilian, okay? So if you really love gourmand scents, this might be for you, okay? Ito, sobrang gourmand dito. You get that almond Almondy note, very naughty siya. Yung almond note yung dito, angat na angat. You get that combination of chocolate and of course, the caramel note. Talagang pinag-combine mo. Sobrang thick composition. Sobrang makapal yung scent niya. Talagang parang nalulunod ka na sa loob ng, ng parang loob ng cake. Ganun yung feel nitong scent na to. Very thick, man. Very thick. You get that also, that rum note. And of course, the vanilla note. And you get also that powdery facets in this scent, okay? Yung projection nito, 
it, eh, nagpo-potion siya 2 to 3 hours, okay? Depende pa rin sa skin chemistry niya. And the longevity, this one lasted on me mga 8 to 10 hours, guys, on my skin, okay? Pero try nyo pa din sa skin nyo, baka it might be different on your skin, okay? Siyempre, iba-ibang skin chemistry tayo, okay? And for the sludge, you will get a good sludge, okay? For those mga hindi kaya bumili ng Black Phantom, give this scent a try, okay? This is Mysteriously Naughty. And let's go now for the next fragrance, okay, guys? For the next fragrance, we have I Like It Rough. <laughs> I like it rough. Do you like it rough? If you like it rough, let's go. <laughs> Just kidding lang guys. So, this is inspired by Ayoko na sabihin. Fabulous from the house of Tom Ford. So, Sensor John yung name niya. So, if you really love of the of from the house of Tom Ford which is effing fabulous, okay? This might be for you. This is a different take. And it's a very, very thick composition, okay? Angat na angat yung leather niya dito. You get those leathery components here. You get those clary sage. Yung clary sage niya, it gives a little bit of green green uh, facets dito sa scent niya. And it gives a konting uh, pagka-unique take, okay? I think yung clary sage note niya, uh, yun, yung nag, uh, yun yung nagbibigay ng uniqueness sa effing fabulous from the house of Tom Ford, okay? So, very unique take siya. You get that also, the, yung almondy note niya. Yung almondy note niya dito, medyo bitter siya. Okay? Hindi siya katulad ng other almondy, almondy notes out there na very thick. This is bitter almond. Okay? So, parang pagka, pagkagat mo pa lang ng almond, uh, pag nalasahan mo o naamoy mo yung almond, makikita mo na, ah, it's very bitter pala. Okay? Bitter ba kayo? Hindi ko lang kung bitter kayo. Hindi ako bitter. Okay? So, you get that vanilla note as well. And you get that also may pagkakonting parang iris note siya dito. Parang medyo leaning into creamy iris. Okay? Which gives the leather and also the clary sage note. Okay? And of course, the vanilla note. Okay? And of course, the touch of bitter almond here. So if you love, if you love everything fabulous, if you love mga heavy scents, mga heavy leather dominant scent, this might be for you. Okay? This is from the house of Minimalist Scent. This is I Like It Rough. <laughs> Panalo talaga yung name na ginawa mo dito, Bong. Panalo talaga, bro. So, the last fragrance from this house, this is Secret Formula. So, itong Secret Formula, I think uh, this is not inspired. Ito mismo ginawa talaga ni Mr. Bong Alcaide. Itong Secret Formula, nakasulat sa page ni Minimalist Scent, kay Bong Alcaide. It's fresh and smoky and also sweet at the same time. It's a different take on pineapple note. Okay? So, baka mga iba sa inyo dyan, it might be Aventus, it might be sabihin nyo baka Hachibat, or it might be mga other pineapple notes out there. Okay? So, this is a different take on pineapple note. Okay? So, if you love pineapple note, dominant, dominant sa pineapple and with a touch of counting smoky and little bit sweetness, okay? This might be for you. Okay? So, yung projection niya, ganun din. Mga pushing 1 to 2 hours. Longevity, at last, mga 5 to 6 hours. Pushing sometimes 6 to 7. Okay? Depende sa skin cam. And for the sillage, you get a good amount of sillage. Okay? So, if tatanungin nyo ako, uh, amoy paranyan, amoy paranyan, ano yung, how would you rate this 11 fragrances? Okay? How would you rate it? Ano yung, let's say, let's give it a top 5. Okay? Top 5. Sa, from the house of minimalist set, okay? For me, number one, yung pinaka number one na top one sa akin is Versace Eros, okay? Which is the unrestrained passion. Then the number two, the number two would be, hmm, I think, uh, doon ako sa mga heavy, eh. doon ako sa mga heavy. Eh. Get up and smoke, number two. And for the number three, I would go with Effing Fabulous, which is, Mr. Uh, Effing Fabulous, sorry. Uh, I like it rough. And for the number four, for the number four, I would give it sa white polo shirt. White polo shirt, which is inspired by Lacoste White. And for the fifth one, for the fifth one, I would give it the fifth one dun sa Into the Woods, which is inspired by Layton Exclusive. So that's it, guys. Hopefully, na-enjoy nyo and hopefully, 
uh, may nagustuhan kayo sa mga review kong 11 fragrances from the House of Minimalist Scent which is kay Mr. Bong Alcaide. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, nagustuhan niyo tong review ko which is from the House of Minimalist Scent which is kay Mr. Bong Alcaide ang kumahawang ko sa Okay. So hit him a message up if you're looking for this mga fragrances, if you're looking for affordable and very good price, hit him up and uh, you can check also in on his Shopee account, Shopee shop niya, okay, in the description down below. So yeah, that's it. Stay safe and be blessed. Love y'all. Cheers guys. Mwah.